end of September brings with it a few big news stories for the Highlander Band. We begin with an exciting announcement. Notes from the Field is partnered with WTAE TV's High School Playbook to include these webcasts on the High School Playbook website. WTAE's John Burton was at Baldwin for a pep rally. So we caught up with JB to talk about High School Playbook and WTA TV's high school sports coverage. It's a great way to showcase everything that goes on with high school sports, not only just the, the games and the student athletes, but the cheerleaders, the bands. And we do we pick a band of the week and we give them about 30 or 40 seconds on our Friday night highlight show to uh, showcase what they have. And uh, we know high school bands are some of the best bands in the country are right here in Western Pennsylvania. And we like to showcase them every week. And so they get a chance to get on TV and get some exposure. So you can check out highschoolplaybook.com as well as the band's website, of course, to see the notes from the field. Friday night's football game brought two notable events. First, the eighth grade band joined the high school band for the night. One of the band's own was named the 2007 Baldwin High School Homecoming Queen, and she appreciates the support of her fellow Color Guard members. It was nice to have them support me instead of just being on my own and having to walk. It was, gave me a little confidence boost, and I'm glad that I had them behind me. Now, as exciting as all of those events were, the big news was Saturday night's competition at Steel Valley. <laughs> Scoring a 77.6 was a great first show. Our first actual show, I think we did really good. I think our individual marching was really good. Um, we sounded really great musically. I think today's just, you know, starting ground for a lot more. I think we're going to improve a lot more. We're all working really hard and trying to get the beats up and up to the par where they're supposed to be and the season's doing real good because we're actually showing our talents and what we actually have from last year. Cool. And we're back at the school. The uniforms are packed up. Everyone has gone home for the night. What happens next for the band? Well, next weekend is an off weekend. We use that as a chance to clean and work on the show a little bit more. And then it is our home competition right here on October 13th. And where can you see that? Here on the Notes from the Field. We'll see you next time.